Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading. Christmas holidays are approaching so I'm coming with another idea for gifts and jewelry for the holidays. This time it is for Christmas tree, I'm showing it in easy steps, I'm providing a free pattern that you could also download from my Facebook page, so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Subscribe with the bell, also like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like what I'm doing here. Also a lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 ohm seed beads, green, golden, red and brown. Here I'm also using earring findings in golden color. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is a free pattern that I provide and that we are going to be working with all the time. This is size 11 beading needle but you could use size 10 or 12 similar sizes and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I'm gonna be making double brick stitch. If you're not familiar, don't worry, it's easy to make and I'll show it step by step. And I'm gonna be following this pattern. I will start from this long row here. And I will start with two green beads and then one green and one golden. I'll pick them up and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I said, I need three green beads and one golden. And I'm going to slide those down. Here I'm leaving a small tail, let's say 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And what I do next is that I go here through these first two green beads. Okay, this is what I do and I pull. Okay. Now I have this. In my next step, guys, I'm going through the following two beads like this. And what I want to do next is to consult with my pattern. As you may see, I did these four beads here. I added them. And now I need to add a green and a red and then three times two green beads. Okay, I'll do this up to here now. And I'm taking a green and a red. And I'm going backwards like this. And then through these two newly added beads. And after that, as I said, I'm going to add three times two green beads. By the way, when you work with nylon nylon thread, always pre-stretch it to avoid tangles and knots. If you work with monofilament, never pre-stretch it. And if you work with fire line, it's all the same. Okay, and I did it up to here. Then what I want to do is consult again with my pattern. Okay, I'm up to here, up to the middle of my work. And now I will follow these steps here. Green and yellow, then green and red, then two greens, then yellow and green, and then two greens and two greens. Okay, I'll do this and I'll show you the steps. By the way, it's golden, not uh, yellow in my work, but in my pattern it's yellow. And as I said, green and golden. Then green and red. Then two greens. Then 
golden and green. Two greens. And two greens. Okay, then I want to go like this through the following two green beads. Okay, and from now on, guys, I'm going to start the brick stitch part. I'm going to consult with my pattern again. I just did this row here. And now I want to start this row with four green beads. I always start a row with four beads and then I continue adding them two by two. It's like the regular brick stitch, but with the regular brick stitch, I start with two and continue with one. And here I start with four and continue with two. That is why it's called double brick stitch. And I will take the first four beads. And because I will be decreasing, which means I add less beads in the next row than in this one. After I take these four, I go under the second thread bridge that I have here. You see here I have thread bridges. This is the first one and this is the second one. And with these four beads, I want to go through the second one because I will be decreasing. Then I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work and I pull. Then I want to make an additional reinforcement. I go through, through these two beads and then I will go in the previous row just to be sure that it's all tight and secure. And I go here and then again, I'm exiting here. It's not obligatory to go through the first row, but here in the first step, I will do it like this. Okay. Then it is the same thing, guy, uh, guys, as I showed you before. I take a golden and a green, and then two greens, red and green, golden and green. Go under the next thread bridge. go through these two beads that I have here. Then as I said, two green beads. And then as I said, red and green bead. Okay, now I'm here, red and green, as you may see. And uh, what I need next are two green, green and red, two green, green and golden, red and green, and two green beads. Okay, I'll show it faster now. Okay guys, and I just did the second row and now it's time to make the third row, which is this one. And my thread is exiting here, so I will start with 
two greens and then a golden and a green. Okay, I'll pick them up. Okay, I take them. And because I decrease, guys, you see these thread bridges that I have here. I go under the second one. When I decrease what I'm going to be doing until the end of this work, I always go under the second thread bridge. If you go under the first, the beads are, will be sticking out in this direction and you will increase. Okay, then as always, I go through the beads that are closer to the center of my work. And what I do after that is that I reinforce. Okay. Now, guys, you see what I have. I have these four beads added. Two greens, golden and green. And I will continue with two greens, red and green. Two greens, two greens, red and green. And one, two, three columns of three greens. Okay, I'll show it faster. Okay guys, now this row is ready and I did one, two, three rows and now I'm up to the fourth row here. But my thread is going out of this side so I'm here and I'm going to start it with two greens then a green and a golden. And I take two greens then a green and a golden so it's three greens one golden. And as I said here, I need to go through the second thread bridge. In this work, you always go through the second thread bridge with four beads when you start a row. Okay. Then you go through the beads that are closer to the center of your work. And then you reinforce. Okay, my friends, now I'm going to consult with my pattern again. I just added these four beads here. You see two greens, a green and a golden. Now what I need are two greens, two greens, green and golden, two greens, golden and green, two greens and two greens. Okay, pause on this pattern, add those beads from here to here and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just finished the fourth row of my work. Now it's time to start the fifth row. Okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, and this is the fifth row. Okay, and the fifth row, I will start with two greens, a golden and a green. By the way, if you haven't done the previous row, pause on it and do this. But now we will continue with the next row. And for the next row, I need two greens, a golden and a green. Okay, I take them. And if you remember these thread bridges that I have here, I go under the second one. 
and then through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work and then don't forget to reinforce because your beads stretch and they don't sit well otherwise that is why you do this additional step okay guys now i think you're ready to continue by yourself just pause on this pattern and do it by row by row now we are up to the fifth row so we are here and continue from here on the fifth the sixth the seventh the eighth the ninth the tenth and here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next you could also download this pattern from my facebook page or print the screen or pause it on this screen and do this whatever you like and the good thing about this pattern is that even if you don't put these beads at the right places it will still look good because you know it's a christmas tree and the toys on the christmas tree could go anywhere it's a just a guiding line here that i'm providing okay see you here okay guys and as i continued beading here i am at this row where i'm adding the last two green beads here in this uh, row i had only two thread bridges okay now in my next step i'm going to take two golden beads my earring finding and two golden beads and as i'm exiting from this bead i go again through the second thread bridge that i have here here are only two thread bridges but i still go through the second one counting from where i'm exiting out of so i add those then again i go through the two beads here and then what i want to do is just reinforce here where my earring finding is now guys what i need to do next is just go through some beads and cut my thread okay i go in this direction i make here a loop i go twice through the loop i've made i pull then i go through some beads here and i cut this tail thread okay and now i'm going to put here my needle and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay my friends and i put my needle here now what i want to do is to zigzag through my beads okay now i'm exiting out of the fifth bead that i have here and i'm going to take here six beads you see and as i'm exiting from this bead what i need to do is to go here through the next thread bridge not through the one that's on my way but through the following and i pull then guys i go through these three beads that are closer to the center of my work like this then i want to reinforce it so what i'm doing here guys could easily be called triple brick stitch 
Here I need three beads and I go under the next thread bridge. And then I go back through these three beads that I have here. It's like the single and the double brick stitch but with three beads. So I'm going backwards here. Now what I want to do is to find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I find place here. Make a loop, go through the loop you've made. Then go through some beads after that and you could zigzag through your work a little bit if you want. And when you think you're done, enough zigzagging, cut your thread. Okay guys, and now my double brick stitch Christmas tree earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button. In this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And also for a pattern for this project that you could download. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.